Hello everyone. This video is in our engine technology series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and in this video we're going to be taking a look at installing the Ceres engine. I mean one of the wonderful things about the chess engine world is that there's always new stuff coming along. Uh, this is really something from the Leela Zero side of, uh, of the uh, chess engine world. Um, it was an attempt to um, yeah, implement some improvements to, uh, to Leela Zero, uh, for example, to uh, make the, the search a little bit uh, better, to uh, increase the search speed as well. And um, well, I mean, it uh, seems to be very, very interesting. And um, certainly in, uh, in uh, some of the tests that they ran at the, uh, at the TCC and some of the bonus events, it looked exceedingly strong. Um, and it's also uh, not too difficult to install, so uh, I just thought we'd, uh, uh, we'd have a look at that in, uh, in this video. So the main page where uh, we're looking at at the moment, that's the, the one that really explains what uh, Ceres is all about and uh, what it can do. So um, uh, the more techie amongst you will, uh, will certainly enjoy that. It's a very interesting uh, um, bit of description there. Um, and then afterwards we can move to the installation instructions. Um, now these are, um, are not too difficult, but uh, do have a, a few important things. Um, first of all, uh, you need a pretty recent operating system. Um, you really need a, a pretty recent processor as well. Um, and you also need um, an NVIDIA video card and, and a decent one as well. So for example, uh, 2060 or above. So uh, you know, my old laptop, which had a, um, an NVIDIA 1060 would, would not be able to, uh, to cope with this. So the hardware requirements are um, a little bit higher. It's a, it's a very modern engine. Um, what you also need to do is to install uh, the .NET 5.0 runtime from Microsoft. So um, uh, I just went uh, here, installed the .NET runtime for uh, desktop apps uh, because uh, that's what it is. And um, um, yeah, and then those were basically the uh, the prerequisites, everything that uh, that I needed on my PC to uh, to get this working. Now, normal disclaimers uh, for these sort of uh, techie uh, videos apply. You know, um, any file that you download, do check it with an up-to-date virus scanner. Make sure that you've got backups of all your data. That you you've got a you know that they work as well, and that uh, you know you've got a known working way to restore your PC if anything was to go wrong. Because you know anything that happens on your PC. Uh, you know, it's it's at your own risk, but you know, again, um, uh, I wouldn't uh, do a video like this if I hadn't done it first. So uh, for me, it's worked uh, pretty well and was pretty easy. So once you've got those, uh, once you've seen that your hardware is okay for it and you um, uh, you've got the prerequisites, um, then um, how are you going to run uh, Ceres? Well, the simplest thing is to take the um, uh, the binary uh, packages that they've got. That's by far the easiest, so that's what we're going to recommend. So we just go to um, uh, the uh, release page. Version 0.94 is the, the latest release. And we get the 0.94 zip file there. Now, we uh, it's just a zip file, so we download it, extract it. And uh, what we've got here now is uh, a directory with Keres in 0.94. Um, and here we are, we've got a Keres executable. Now, before you can uh, go right ahead and whack that file into um, into your favourite chess GUI, um, you need to um, um, alter um, the um, uh, keres.json file, um, which is uh, um, yeah, essentially just a configuration file. Um, the nice thing about it is that um, you know if you don't uh, pre-populate uh, this one with uh, appropriate values, then um, uh, when you start up Ceres for the first time and you don't have a file like this, then um, um, yeah, it will simply uh, do it for you. Um, there's a couple of, uh, of important things. Um, first of all, um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about this one to be honest, but uh, I put that and it works. So, uh, so there we are. Uh, the directory uh, for Leela networks that is very important because you want to uh, to tell it where to find uh, um, a Leela network. Uh, Ceres, um, obviously, it's the executable. That's um, uh, that's all uh, you know, completely new work. But it uses Leela network uh, neural nets. 
Um, so um, there's a, um, a, a folder called uh, Networks, and this is just the network that I downloaded from, um, from the Leela site, uh, the one that I'm using in my Leela machines uh, at the moment. So um, this is the one, the default one, that comes, uh, that comes with it, but you can see it's a lot smaller, um, so presumably um, a lot uh, weaker. So I just downloaded it, put it into there, and then um, just used uh, uh, the syntax to say, this is where the networks uh, are stored. This is uh, just a um, typical notation, dot slash, and then the, uh, the, uh, uh, um, the folder. Um, and then afterwards, um, you have to say, yeah, what is the name of the network you want to use? Because you could have uh, multiple ones in there. And it's just done with this sort of uh, a little command, LC0, two points, and then this. Um, default device, that's your uh, GPU. Um, yeah, this was a, um, <laughs> the thing that I got a little bit uh, um, um, a little bit confused on. I mean, I did think that um, uh, that I have I have got two graphics cards in my um, in my uh, in my laptop here, an integrated Intel one and my Nvidia one. And uh, well, my Nvidia one is always GPU one um, on everything I see. Only for uh, Ceres, it had to be GPU zero. So uh, that just confused me for uh, a few minutes. But um, but yeah, I mean, you just try it if. Um, if, uh, if you get the wrong number, it says can't find anything. And uh, when you get the right number, then uh, then it works. Um, and this one uh, just seems to be filled in automatically. Um, apart from that, um, yeah, not uh, not too much scary. Um, yeah, table bases, um, I uh, uh, I still need to, uh, to fill that in, basically. So um, that would be uh, quite uh, sensible to do that. But this is just the, uh, the, the minimum basic that you need in order to get it working. Um, so you can pre-populate that. Um, what you can also do is just populate it when you start up uh, uh, Ceres itself. So let's have a look how that looks. I'm just starting up a, um, a PowerShell with um, administrator rights. And um, what you can see is that right at the top here, um, I just started uh, Ceres.exe. Um, and then I, I did a command, uh, just analyze, and then this is a chess position. It's from um, uh, a young uh, Nipomniachtchi Magnus Carlsen game. Um, and then um, I didn't have this uh, JSON file, so it said uh, configuration file doesn't exist. So it asked me to enter the path to the directory, just four pieces of basic information that you need. Path the directory with Leela binaries. Um, I said it was in the same one, the same uh, directory where I am. Um, the network uh, neural net that we're using, so that's that one, Leela two points and then uh, here and then the device specification your graphics card well zero was the one that I needed and then you see what it does it um, uh, tells you what the contents are and then you get this little thing analyzing the file search limit says this is the configuration and then you wait and then it recognizes your uh, your card in your um, uh, laptop for me it's uh, a gtx uh, an rtx rather 3080 um and um and off it goes and it starts analyzing look at that lots of lovely analysis of uh, of that position not particularly important really but um it's just the fact that it's basically working um you can also run a benchmark as well uh, for it and uh, it just takes a set of positions and then just uh, you know spends uh, some time on them and uh, yeah and then at the end it just gives you a little benchmark for uh, for how quick it is okay so then all that you need to do is um, uh, you can just um, whack it into chess base um, we will just put it into there and um, we'll do add kibitza as you can see, I've already put it in. The standard uh, way that you add um, um, engines into, uh, into a chess-based GUI, you say, OK, and all going live. Just have a little look. Keres starts. There we are. And um, um, yeah, it just starts uh, analyzing. There we are. Um, so uh, and there you've got uh, Keres 0.94, new engine based on Leela, using Leela nets. But um, yeah, you know, optimized for uh, for different things, and I do believe that a number of the you know innovations that have uh, been put into into Ceres, you know, have also come out for um, uh, for uh, uh, Leela. So a few of them have also been implemented in Leela. But it really is a you know a completely different engine. 
So there we are. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that helped. Um, yeah, I mean, it can often be uh, a little bit daunting to uh, to take a new engine, you know, especially if there's uh, just not a, a standard install, if you need to configure a few extra files. But, um, but you know, once you get used to it, then um, um, it's really more or less the same tricks every time. And um, yeah, and then it's IT. I mean, uh, it just, uh, you do the same thing every time and normally the same result comes out. So uh, yeah, hopefully this can uh, also be useful. I'll be... Uh, having a look at it, uh, obviously, during the, uh, the Magnus Carlsen the Pomniacci match to see what, uh, what Keres finds, whether it's any different to, uh, to all the other amazing engines that I've got on my machine. All right, then. Well, if you enjoyed the video, hope you can give it a like or even subscribe to the channel. Um, even take a look at my new book, The Silicon Road to Chess Improvement, which is all about chess engines. Um, the wonderful play and how to train with them, which I think is uh, something that's hasn't been looked at very much at all in uh, in previous chess literature and uh, otherwise well you know thanks very much for watching and hope to see you at the next video